Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, yet another data science general Q&A session. And in this particular video, we will be discussing about the tips and techniques to crack data science interview. Now, what are the necessary things that you really need to take care in a data science interview? That all thing I'll be kind, uh, trying to discuss. And uh, this particular discussion is based on from all the people who have recently cleared their data science interview from the past five to six months. And I've heard a lot of success stories, guys, and probably you have been seeing my YouTube channel where I usually upload success stories, videos regarding people who are making successful career transition. So considering that in this particular video, we'll be discussing about that. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. Now, uh, obviously, to get a data science interview, you need to know data science. You definitely need to make a lot of end to end projects. Then after getting impressed from your resume, they will definitely give you a call and you will be coming for the interviews. I think this one is the hard work that you usually do, you know, and once you get the data science interviews, I think you should never miss that. Take that particular opportunities. Okay. Now, when you go for the data science interview, one thing that you really need to take care of is your resume. In the data science interview, whatever resume you have actually given, whatever things you have actually written in the resume, please prepare well with respect to that. If you are saying that, okay, I've used uh, some, I've automated web scrapping in your resume by using some different kind of process, please make sure that you will be able to explain them properly. If you have written that, okay, I've done this many projects, I've done three projects, which is an end to end projects, please make sure that you are able to explain them the project in an amazing way, guys. Trust me, I've heard from so many candidates who have recently made successful career transition. If I ask them what was the difficult question that they had asked, they said that every question revolved around my project. I was able to explain my project properly. I got the job. So this is the most important thing, guys, whether it is a machine learning project, whether it is a deep learning project, please make sure that you explain with respect to the life cycle of that specific project till the deployment. I know many people, if you have not done the deployment also, but at least your team may have done the deployment or you have independently done something, please make sure that you explain those things completely, right? That is the most important thing. And there may be questions also. They uh, usually candidate ask questions that Krish, uh, previously I was .NET developer. Now I've been trained in data science. I've done some end to end projects. How do I showcase my previous project, right? Experience. Guys, in previous project, in whichever domain you have actually worked in, you just have to tell that you have developed some kind of AI modules over there. And I'm not saying that you went back three or four years back and you did it. Right now you have learned it and which AI module you have developed. What do you, what do you think in that specific project you can develop some kind of AI module and integrate with that? You can definitely say that in the interview because you have learned it. Now you know how you can integrate those ideas in your previous experience also. And just try to create a POC that would definitely help, right? It is very much important. Now coming to the second major important point, focus on the basics guys. Okay. Trust me in a data science interview, they'll always start with basics. They'll see your resume. They'll always start with basics. You have seen so many interview sessions of my live virtual interview sessions, a lot of interview questions that I have prepared. I focused mostly on the basics, basics of machine learning, basics of deep learning. Because in every data science interview, the interviewer will look at your basic strength, how good you are at that. Probably if I'm talking about machine learning, probably they may ask you with respect to performance metrics. They may ask you with respect to one of the machine learning algorithm. They'll tell you to uh, uh, make you understand the maths behind it. Probably they may be asking you what is outlier? How do you reduce an impact of an outlier? Which should you actually focus on in with respect to a particular problem statement, whether you should focus on uh, getting the accuracy with respect to precision recall f1 why all these are basics questions right with respect to deep learning they may ask you what is back propagation you know what are the different types of loss function right different type of back prop propagation algorithm how does neural network work how do you decide how many number of hidden layers or hidden neurons has to be used which loss function you should use in this particular case, which is active, which activation function you should use. So these are some kind of basic questions because all the other task is done by the extensive libraries, you know, they're doing that. They're, they're automatically getting trained if you're having a good GPUs. 
so it is always very much important focus on the basics why i am telling you again remember with respect to all the interviews that have happened recently all were basic questions your basic needs to be strong now there may be scenario that okay there may be some candidates who have done some more project they'll say that i've done some project in bert and transformers and this and that and they're not able to explain the basics then what is the use don't you feel it right instead if you tell the basics and you say that okay i don't know the advanced one okay i know some people will be saying that okay they'll try to showcase everything they'll try to write projects in their like transformers bert i've done this sentiment analysis Guys, understand Transformer, Bert are state-of-art algorithms already. You are using that specific model for a specific task. You need to know more theoretical how it is actually working. Did you create it from scratch? No. So what companies will be focusing on that you will be able to create the products from scratch, which is pretty much important. Okay. And this is a very important point. Focus on your basics. Let it be machine learning, deep learning, and please make sure that whatever things you are writing in a resume, you tell them properly. Right. communication skill is also one important thing guys you really need to communicate well so what i would suggest is that uh, take your friends try to talk them talk with them discuss some of the answers questions you know with respect to different uh, try to tell tell them about your entire project end to end and always remember guys this is basically my third point whenever you are explaining your projects whatever things you are really really strong in that particular project when i say life cycle you are very good at feature engineering focus more on that specific point tell some new terminologies tell them what are the problem statements that you have faced over there and how did you solve it the interviewer will be very keen to know like what are problems you have faced okay and how did you actually solve it right it is pretty much important so whenever you are explaining a project make sure that you try to showcase your strengths in which all things you are actually good and you guide the interviewer to your path you have to guide your interviewer to your path okay it is very very necessary guys you gu- you have to guide your interviewer to your path in which you are actually comfortable okay that is the most important thing that you need to take care of and trust me every interview you'll be able to crack it because you have already done the hard work that is the reason why you have got calls right why you have got calls probably the interviewer was impressed from your resume right <laughs> let me talk about the state of art algorithms and all guys trust me state of art algorithm is good yes you will be using it for transfer learning techniques and all but again most of the interviewer will not be using that right now it is not that much good to use it in an industrial level still why i'll tell you because those response time is very very less if you are trying to use that i'm not saying that it is bad it is obviously good okay but understand usually use cases that comes up in a company they'll try to develop it from scratch it will be that models that they are trying to develop or that application they are trying to develop is with respect to that specific project so they will be having a different data collection strategy all the life cycle will be completely different right and always remember guys this probably will be my fourth point if you don't know something just don't rotate over the answers just tell them that i don't know i don't remember it this is also one of the thing that i have seen from the students uh, who have actually cleared the interviews they have clearly told that krish uh, when i used to not know anything i used to directly say that i don't know i probably have to revise i don't remember this is an amazing answer that needs to be given guys it is always good that you try to answer what the interviewer may be expecting and you really need to find out that in the first 5 to 10 minutes that is the most best way to clear the interviews so please make sure that guys you follow all these tips and techniques that i really want to give it to you and uh, yes this was all about this particular video please make sure that you subscribe the channel share with all your friends about this particular video they'll definitely get some kind of confidence i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye